What's up, Laker Nation? It's your man, Urban Lover, coming from your mama's basement, reporting live in the wreck, as always. Doing things that the average person don't like to do, don't want to do, and don't care about doing, because that's what I do to bring controversy to you guys. Why? Because I love controversy. I love debates, only when I got time to talk about it, but most times I don't, because I stay busy. I stayed in the ground. I try to make sure I give a lot of information, get a lot of observation from sources that I get, and this is all I want to talk about today. It's going to be a short video, but I want to let you guys know something. So... There was a tweet, and um, let me see if I can pull this tweet up. There was a tweet that came out, and this is basically about uh, Freddie Freddie Smoke. First, shout out to Freddie Smoke, uh, Smoke Freddie. Um, he asked that you know should the lake. He said, uh, he said since the lake is still on my mind, I was curious on what other move we can make. I still feel like we still need a versatile four or five. Now. If we look at the Lakers roster, I'm, I'm just being honest, like, like just like right now, just, I'm just being honest. If you look at the Lakers roster, the way it's made out, right now I'm looking at just 12 faces or 12 names. My question to you is, and I'm, I'm naming all these, I'm, I'm going to name them, I don't really know how to say the one, two dudes name, so please forgive me. But looking at this right now as center, we had JaVale, Zabak, and Mo. right? Moe's the, the rookie, I mean the rookie from Michigan. The four, we have James, Ingram, Kuzma. And then Ziv from uh, Greek, um, from Greek, um, I'm from Germany. I'm sorry, from Germany. Three forwards, and then you look at the guards. You got Hart, KCP, Ball, Stevenson, and Rondo. Five guards, right? And keep in mind, um, James and, and uh, Ingram can play guards as well. And you got Hart and Ball and Stevenson. They can also play small forward as well, depending on the matchups. And I know we're saying like, okay, well, should we get more players? Just by this 12 right here, if we get one more player, then who's going to somebody's going to miss out on the rotation. See, when we when we want to see the thing is that at the end of the day, we want all these players, but then you got to think about time management. Who's going to get the playing time? Me personally, we don't need no more players. We just need to rock it out for what we got right now and just wait to the next wait to the end of this year. And remember all these guys most of these, most of these guys are on, on one year contract, basically rentals. Then we can see what we can get from the free agency pool. I mean, the free agency uh, pool into the season of this year, and then go from there. Trying to stack our team is not even worth it. You, remember, you're playing against the, the Giants, the, the Golden State Warriors. So, what's the point of just getting another player? And then, if you get another player right now, the names I named, there's no guarantee that all these guys can get on the floor. You know what I mean? Like, if you look at it the way it's, the way it's rotated, then what uh, Palinka stated that you know everybody is going to be fighting for position. That don't mean that some of these guys won't get opportunity to even play. Some of these guys might play when some people get hurt and all that, but the rotation gonna be very slim. And y'all need to understand and realize that. I know we caught up in the hype right now, but there's no point of getting no more players. Straight up, I'm just being honest with you. Because if we get more players, that means some of your favorite players are not gonna get on that floor. It, it, at the end of the day, you gotta look at it like that. It's gonna be about who can fit the system that LeBron slash uh, Walton is running. Simply put, if somebody come in, Say, for instance, let's say the guy from Germany, uh, Zeef. If he come in, I don't know if I'm saying his name right. If, if I'm not, please forgive me. You know, I'm, I speak urban, urban, urban nautics. I don't speak uh, English, nothing like that. So, you know, I just said how it is. You know what I mean? I know I'll be butchering him, but I love him. That's all that matters. But anyway, if this guy come in and just start shooting the lights out, do you think the lights of somebody else going to get on the floor like your, your, uh, your Brandon Ingram or your Kuzma based on the system that they're running? If this guy coming in, knocking out perimeter shots, Shooting a high shot percentage of 40-something percent. Some pairs like, I'll say Ingram or whoever it may be, based on the fact of what they're running, might not see the floor. And I don't mean that they're not going to be on the floor at all, but their minutes might diminish. That's why Palinka stated, you're fighting for position. So that's basically saying that we don't give a heck what you did last year. You're going to fight for every position there. Uh, Rondo had already, you know, R Rondo and, and Lonzo had already... uh. I said Rondo. Yeah, Rondo and Lonzo had already, you know, butted heads, not in a bad way, but like a challenge. Like, you know, we're going to fight for that point guard position. And and, and uh, Lonzo said, I'm up for the challenge. So that was already put out there way before Palinka stated this. But if you look at everybody else, there's no guarantee some of these guys might get on the floor. I'm just being honest with you guys. We don't need nobody else, man. I'm telling you, one more person is really going to rock the boat where somebody going to be sitting in that paint for a while. I mean, I'm, just in the, I'm sorry, sitting on the bench for, for a minute. If you don't believe me, go back and look at Cleveland. 
Tell me how many times Rodney Hood, who played good on his previous team, goes to Cleveland, don't he get to see the floor? Jordan Clarkson, barely get to see the floor. Think about it. Kyle Coover, who was bad on defense but good at knocking down them shots, got to see a lot more minutes because the system that LeBron James want, ran. So in retrospect to that, we don't need nobody else. We need to just stick with what we got, see how it works out for the season, make the playoff, make some noise. I know, I'm telling you, people, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this, and I'll make a video about this. A lot of people are sleeping on the squad we got. Y'all see what we got in summer league with the two guys. Now, I said at the end of the day, I would Mo, you know, because I watch Michigan. I said at the end of the day that, you know, he might get pushed around in, uh, in, in, uh, in you know, an NBA. You know what I mean? Because the summer league and the NBA are two different animals. So let's be honest. He might get pushed around because he's actually playing more back to the basket, playing down low. But the good thing about him, he can step out and knock down them jumpers. So nine times out of ten, he'll be somebody that fit good in, in LeBron's rotation for somebody that LeBron need to knock down them jumpers. The same thing with Z. Yo, I'll call him Z. The same thing with Z. He can knock down them jumpers, knock down the perimeter shots. Guys like Brandon who are not consistent knocking down shots, even though he shot a high percentage, at the end of the day, might not see a lot of time on that court. Not saying that he probably... I'm, I'm putting it like this. The minutes might drop. He might go from when he was getting 35 minutes to getting 28 minutes. Not bad, I mean, rotation-wise, but it also depends on what LeBron is running and the system that he's playing in. That's the main thing in a nutshell. So when people say, let's get another play, I say, nah, let's see what we got. Let the young guys develop. I'm not saying that LeBron is, is not a bad mentor because I think that he's pretty good mentoring them. And I think that with Magic Johnson and, and, and really Magic Johnson, I'm not going to say so much Palenka, but with Magic Johnson advocating and pushing him, you know what I mean, to actually help these young guys, you know, be better players than what they were. Not saying they were bad players, but be better players to learn how to uh, live up to leadership. It will be, it will make more sense. So you're not going, I think, me personally, I don't think you're going to see a lot of our young players that we've seen last year get a lot of time. I think that look, these veterans will get more time than these young players. They're going to rotate the young guys in the mix, but I don't think they're going to be getting no 35 minutes like they used to. Maybe Kuzma, but I don't think I'm, I'm just being honest. I'm not like, I'm not hating on Ingram. I don't want y'all to think that. I'm just being observant of what I see. So when people say get another player, if you get one more player, that means either your heart, because I know KCP will get time because KCP is LeBron James' man. So somebody like Josh Hart, who's looking good in summer league, might not get the playing time. He might be one of them guys that just sit on the bench and come in once in a while. That's what you guys got to look forward to. I'm just being honest with you guys. Because at the end of the day, you got to remember, this is somewhat LeBron's system. According to what Luke Walsh said, we got to tweak it a little bit to make, you know, to fit LeBron, you know, into the system. And also to do according to what makes LeBron's system work. Got to pay attention to that. So... Right now, at this point in time, I think the Lakers should just stay what they got, work on it. I don't mind the rotation. I don't care if uh, some players don't get a lot of plans. It don't matter to me, you know what I'm saying, as long as we win it. I don't care. As long as the guys are happy, we win it. That's all that matters to me as a Laker, you know what I mean, that we win it. But at the end of the day, I say that we stick to what we got and build from that. Think about it. Luau Dane, if they don't stretch his contract, he got one more year, and that's next year. They can basically just pay him off, get him out of there, or put him in a trade package. And basically move him on. Don't be surprised. Luau Day might get some playing time. I'm just being honest with you guys. Remember, he played against LeBron when LeBron uh, when uh, you know when he was in Chicago. So LeBron might act like you know let Luau Day you know might say hey let's let Luau Day get some playing time. You never know what might transpire this season. So just keep your heads up and just you know and stay you know and just basically have an open mind about things. Don't get too caught up in the hype. At the end of the day, you know, LeBron James is here. This is a different format, different system. And Matt Johnson and, and the front office are going to do whatever they can to make LeBron James happy. That's simply put. So, at the end of the day, I don't think they need anybody else. I mean, a lot of people say, well, go after this person. Go after Camilla Anthony, uh, Dwayne Wade, and all that. If these guys come, you got to keep in mind, a lot of your young guys are not going to get no playing time. I'm team young core. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I'm also about Lakers winning, too. So, it doesn't really matter. I'm not really upset or nothing like that. So I want to make sure you guys understand that. But at the end of the day, we should just focus on what we got now. I think that the Lakers have a balanced squad with the veterans and with the young guys. It will work its way out because the veterans will challenge the young guys to play much better. So we don't need nobody else because I want to see some of them young guys get on the floor, especially my man Josh Hart. I love Josh Hart. I love what he's doing in the summer league. Um, and I, I'm light. I, I love him lighting up. And I call him, you know, I, I call uh, Larry Nance Mr. Utility. 
that name is now taken and given to my man Josh Hart. Kudos to Josh Hart. And that's why I say I want to see the guys getting a better, you know, have opportunity to get into the rotation. I don't want nobody else, man. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not the front office, but that's just, that's just my opinion. Anyways, your man, ever love, like, share, subscribe, get in the comment section. You know what it is. I'm about to go upstairs and steal somebody chicken wings because you know how I do it. Anyway, y'all take care. And as always, when I leave off, I tell you guys, please be safe out there. Love you.